Hi everybody, welcome to Branding Bites. My name is Kasha and I am the strategy director here at Skidmore Studio. Hi, I'm Sean, the design director. We've got just one topic today, but it's a good one. So let's go ahead and get started. Yes, one topic. All right, Sean, I'm gonna say two words. To me? Yeah. Okay. Branded content. I love it. Okay, here we go. Uh, branded content and especially branded video content. Sure. Huge right now and getting a lot of traction in As the food should. industry, food and restaurants. For example, Chipotle's School of Guac. Have you seen yep, that? Okay. I have seen it. Uh, Captain Crunch's earliest show. Oh boy. Uh huh. And uh, Jack in the Box's Cravings. There's okay. a lot to dig into. Okay, so we set the table. Um, first, are these concepts a good fit for Gen Y and Gen Z? They are a great fit, done right. As always, mm -hmm. I think Gen Z might benefit a little bit more from the branded video content, mm -hmm. but you can definitely hit that Gen Y market too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm with you. Gen Z, I say, absolutely, you, you've nailed it. Like they, they, They've grown up all their life consuming video. All the time. So give them just fun and games and, and goofiness, okay? Um, but Gen Y, be careful, right? Because we don't know... We have older Gen Y millennials. We need to give them meaningful value. Younger right. Gen Y millennials, maybe we can be a little bit more goofy. A little bit. Okay. Still but, relevant. Yeah, still relevant. But let's get to relevancy and the buts. What do we think about these School of Guac and earliest show? Give me a review. Sure. Let's start with School of Guac. I think that's the easiest one to get into, and it's the shortest. Yeah. Drops mm -hmm. on Snapchat every Tuesday, I think around 3 o'clock. Yep. So it's Which that is time. Right when everybody's getting out of school. Exactly. Teenagers, right? They've done that's one the th They have defined their audience very well. They yeah. know mm -hmm. who they're talking to. They know when they're watching. They know how they're watching. Mm -hmm. Great A. Plus. Stuff's just kind of happening and popping up and down, and you're getting a good branded kind of piece of value. Visually, it feels like unlike anything else that mm -hmm. Chipotle puts out, which I think is great for this market. It's up, it's fun. They've got dancing emoji, they've got a lot of color, yep. they've got this great script, they've got this great actress. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Totally agree. Okay, uh, earliest show, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say, I hate it. It's terrible. And there's yeah. a key reason why I believe it's terrible. It's not because it by itself is terrible, which it is. It's because it's sure. not right for the intended audience. They say they're there for millennial men at 2 a.m. on Funny or Die, right. which is great. I think millennial men at 2 a.m. on Funny or Die is fantastic. With an early show, no. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I tried to really love it. Being an avid, avid, avid Captain Crunch fan my entire life, I wanted to love this. And I realized I'm not in that audience. So good, yeah. maybe they're not talking to me. I can't imagine who they're talking to. Do you remember Dumb and Dumber, the most annoying sound in the world? Yes. Ah! That's what the show reminded That's me That's exactly of. what it felt like. And I think it felt like that to millennial men. I don't even think that they're appreciating it. But I do think that the, the concept is right. We just need to get the content to make a lot more sense for that audience at that time on that channel. Good start, uh, needs refinement. I know there are one, maybe two episodes in, I think just one. Yeah. They've got another nine to go. I'm hoping they can get it there. They've got good bones, but right now it is not connecting. Totally agree. All right, so listen, those brands, million dollar budgets, professional sets, professional actors. Beautiful sets, by the way. I thought the sets for the Captain Crunch one, gorgeous. Yeah, actually, Spot on, colors are great. Did a fine job. So design-wise, looks great. Looks fantastic. But what if I don't have that kind of money? I don't have access to that kind of sure. talent. I don't have access to that kind of stuff. What, what do you recommend brands do? The barrier to entry on video is so low. If you have an iPhone and a Facebook account, yes. you can be on TV right now broadcasting mm -hmm. to millions of mm -hmm. users. Mm -hmm. There's nothing standing in your way. Look around your store. Be unique. What do you have around that you can take and make something out of that you can bring to life for your fans in some way that will connect with yes, them? Yes, absolutely. I have prepared some visual aids for this. Yes. Okay. Great. I uh, can't wait. This one right here. First, who are you talking to? We're talking to one-eyed red men in this case. <laughs> If you're sure. going to do this, make sure you've identified your audience and make sure you're going to do some branded video content that this audience will appreciate. Absolutely. The second one is you got to be unique and you got to be unique to what's special about you. So, for example, if you are a pizza chain and one of your delivery guys, like he sings when he delivers the pizzas, make use of that. Do a little fun video. And he should be video. probably singing uh, pirate chanties, right? Yeah, because he's going to the one-eyed red people. Yeah, okay, so we unique get that. Unique and relevant to your audience. So you've made, you've made a, a unique video, it's unique about you, it's relevant to your audience. Absolutely. Now what do you do with that? I'm gonna make this really easy for you guys. Yeah. The big F. Facebook. Facebook. All you have to do is get a Facebook ad, post this video, do it with selecting all the demographics of who that audience is, you're gonna get immediate results about who's watching it and what they're doing with it. Better yet, maybe try Facebook Live. 
Oh, that could be fun. Yeah. All right. Cool. Great. All right. We've got another segment, Branding Bites, but brand Ooh. new packaging. Bitty Bites. Very important. Awesome. Love it. Bitty Bites. Did I say Branding Bites it's again? It's okay. It's all Bitty right, Bites. Let's we, let's we all know what it is. want to not tear this. Branding Bites is a little segment where we reach into this magic bag. Uh-huh. It gives a thumbs up uh -huh. or a thumbs down. Uh-huh. To whatever we take out. What are you what are you pulling out this time? I don't know, but it feels like a visual. Okay. Okay. And they're all they're all connected. Hey, bear, bear with us. <laughs> Unpack it for me. All right. Enter the mind of Jack 360, Jack in the Box. Oh, the Jack in the Box. Did you see this video? video? Yes, yeah. I saw this. Okay. Um <laughs> No. Why? Uh, because I didn't feel like what I, what, what am I getting out of this, walking around this um, landscape of Bacon Mountains? I love the landscape. I love being in the little different burger worlds. I hated the music. It didn't connect. But mm. I thought it was well on its way to something becoming almost great. Cool. I'm giving it a thumbs up. All right, great. Great. What else you got? Uh, video chat at the drive-thru. Something Starbucks is doing now. I can see my barista on the drive-thru screen. I can interact that way. I really like that. that anytime we're, we're, we're increasing human interaction, I'm all for it. It's giving me that piece that I'm missing when I go through Starbucks yeah. in the front door. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, thumbs up. I yeah, love it. We love that. Dinosaur Barbecue offered right wing, left wing, and fuck it, bucket chicken wing combos on election day. <laughs> Anything like that. It's awesome. <laughs> Especially because it's on brand for this for these guys. Dinosaur barbecue. Yeah, that's perfect. I love it. Thumbs nobody up. nobody else can pull that I'm off. Sorry I missed it. Uh, I kind of want to go back in time for a few reasons now. <laughs> All right. That's it for Branding Bites and Bitty Bites. Yep. It's been really fun. Thank you guys for joining us. If you have questions, send them to us at Skidmore Studio. We'll be happy to answer them next week. Till then, see you later. Thanks, guys.